Efficient irrigation techniques are changing for California's farmers. Old flood irrigation methods are being replaced with more efficient systems with ways to monitor just how much water is getting to the crop. Today, more farmers are recognizing the importance of measuring the amount of water they apply by using an important device called a flow meter. I'm Bob Amaral. I'm managing general partner for Reason Farms and we're about three or four miles outside of uh, Yuba City, California. What you're looking at basically is, uh, is a prune orchard, uh, dried plums if you will. You can see they're, they got a great crop on them. I really think that one of the reasons why they got a great crop and the trees look good is because of the way we take care of the water. A flow meter is about as important a device to an irrigation system as your speedometer is to your car. It's actually like the speedometer and the odometer, so it not only tells the irrigator how fast their system is running, how much water is going through it right now, it also keeps track of how much they've put on to date. The primary purpose for the flow meter for me is to know whether I'm actually putting on the amount of water that the system was designed to put on. So the three most common types of flow meters are propeller flow meters that actually have a little arm and a propeller that stick inside the pipe and rotate with the flow. There are electromagnetic flow meters that may or may not have a little projection into the pipe that just sense the charge of the water as it moves past. And then there's ultrasonic flow meters that actually send a sound wave through the water and then with the Doppler effect measure the, the shift in that sound. In addition to monitoring the flow rate, it will alert the irrigator to problems at the pump station or in the irrigation system. When I first came up to this flow meter, I found out the pump wasn't putting out as much water as it should, so I called up the pump guy and he had to come out here and adjust it. It gives them a baseline to know how their system is operating so that they know if they're, gonna have, if they're having problems with their pump, they can see the flow rate will drop off or if they have obstructions downstream. It gives them control over how much water they're applying to their crop and when they apply it. And in addition to water, they can control fertilizer and chemicals that they may apply. All in all, I'm when my trees are happy, I'm happy, and since I put this system in here, these trees have been happy. Good decisions lead to reduced water and nutrient loss, energy conservation, and quality crop production. The way NRCS can help uh, farmers and ranchers with flow meters is we can provide them technical information, helping them figure out what's going to work the best for them. And then we have financial assistance available through our various cost share programs to actually take the bite out of the installation of the hardware and then managing it to so that they know that they're getting the information that they really need from it. If you would like more information on irrigation flow measurement or other conservation practices, contact the district conservationist at your local NRCS office or visit our website.